we've taken a break from the whole fake news segment, but it's time now. We're gonna we're gonna hit you up with some fake news um, to round out this episode of the Jays from the Couch podcast. Before we do, I'm gonna remind you to check out BetStamp, available uh, in the App Store, Google Play. Track all your bets. Look for the best bet to make across all the books using the BetStamp app, and make sure you use J- code JFTC when you sign up. <clears throat> now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Once again, Jays from the Couch proudly presents fake Blue Jays news. Steve, over to you. Thank you, Sean. The ongoing renovations to the Rogers Center are generating tons of excitement across MLB and the Blue Jays fan base. Just this morning, MLB... Uh, Hot Stove Show talked a lot about the new outfield dimensions and the varying things of the walls. Now, I'm personally not happy about the 11-game road trip to start the season to accommodate the completion of all these renovations, but I don't want to get too feckless about things here, okay? I did a little research on the upgrades that were discussed that did not make the final cut, and I think you'll find some of them, you know, quite fun and interesting. Uh, Now, the MLBPA put the kibosh on one of them by filing a grievance over the proposed 50-foot replica of the CN Tower that was to be placed in dead center field. The union cited player safety concerns. Though, if you remember, there was Tad's Hill in Houston where you had to go up the hill to catch the ball in dead center, and then the Yankee Stadium had the flagpoles and the monuments out in center field with the old Yankee Stadium, so I'm not sure uh, what the big issue is. Though I would, ima- I would imagine, and I mentioned this in an earlier fake news segment last season, that uh, right said Manfred always, already thinks that the Blue Jays are using the real CN Tower to steal signs. So I'm sure he had some kind of concerns about that. So that didn't go through. And then another rejected concept was that there was going to be an optometrist, optometrist stand directly behind home plate to incur better vision health and perhaps strike zone management. But again, the umpires union said, no, we can't have an optometrist to bring it right behind our home plate umpire. So that got kicked out. And there was also some thought about constructing a clear plexiglass wall behind first base to better protect the spectators sitting there from errant throws by Bo Bichette. And of course, the cost for that wall was going to be subtracted from Bo's arbitration award. But a last minute change, and it happened because of the trade of Lourdes Gurriel to Arizona, was going to be a video screen that was embedded in the left field wall. It was going to be sponsored by Google Maps, and it was going to give you proper tracking routes for the outfield you know, that would be flashed up for Lourdes to, to follow so you can actually track down a fly ball in a more efficient way. Though there is a more permanent addition that they might put out there to help future left fielders like Dalton Varsho, they are going to paint like all the different routes that Lourdes used to run for, for outfielders. So you know what f- footsteps not to follow in Lourdes Guerrero when you're replacing him in left field. So those are just some of the things that, that did not come across. But I do want to remind you that this Thursday is Groundhog Day in the U.S. And, of course, Punks and Tony Phil will be looking for his shadow to see if there'll be an early spring or six more weeks of winter. I know that Nova Scotia has its own version of Punks and Tony Phil that I can't pronounce, so I'm not even going to go there. But the Blue Shubenacity Jays, Sam. They Shubenacity Sam, perfect. But the Blue Jays are joining in the annual fund by sponsoring a Rogers Center Ross celebration. Now, fans can enter the Rogers Center. They can sit in their favorite section. And they can watch Ross Atkins up on the new video screens. Now, if Atkins ignores the first call from a rival GM on that day, there will be six more weeks of smugness for Blue Jay fans to endure. If he actually picks up the phone, there will be defibrillators behind there so they can shock you back from the sheer amazement that Ross actually picked up the phone. Over to you, Sean. (laughs) <clears throat> oh, and Steve, I, I, I don't know if you uh, got the email or not, but uh, to clarify, the tracks um, in, in the left field where Lourdes Gurriel, those are sponsored by Etch-A-Sketch. Etch-A-Sketch. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> Dr. Scholes or whatever, yeah. That's a- <laughs> the Fitbit step counter. <laughs> that's what it was. Oh, the whole time. Oh, man. Anyway. <clears throat> All right, here we go. More fake Blue Jays news. Part of the efforts to restructure Rogers Center is based on the concept of bringing the city life, city of Toronto, life inside the ballpark. And Jays from the couch has learned 
of further plans to accomplish this. Firstly, there's going to be construction between every base to cause delays. Another change is actually borrowing from an old Rogers Center idea. Home run celebrations will feature fireworks to fill the dome with smoke to replicate pollution levels. <clears throat> Mark Shapiro commented by saying, we play in the big smoke, so it's a no-brainer. In fact, all these changes are exciting. Just don't let me catch anyone riding a bike around Rogers Center. <clears throat> and he also had... <laughs> And he also said, and we're we're continuing to <clears throat> open up the concourse areas. Um, and this is direct in direct response to people complaining about no cup holders. You want cup holders? Walk around and hold your cup. <clears throat> <laughs> and the Blue Jays have committed a lot of money to the team. Not only are they spending on free agents on bigger and uh, excuse me on bigger and bigger contracts, they're also revamping the outfield uh, in order to try and recoup some of that cost. Team president Mark Shapiro said they had to get creative with the ideas they pitched to Roger's ownership group. One such idea is to legitimize the kangaroo court, which is an old tradition in some cl clubhouses where players are put on trial for silly things and fined accordingly. Now, the Blue Jays will bring uh, that this in for, for in-game situations. Don't run out of the box, $5,000 fine. Throw to the wrong base, $5,000 fine. Jays from the couch was able to press Mark Shapiro further, and we discovered that the Blue Jays expected the arbitration process to go differently with Bo Bichette. Shapiro says that the club actually agrees with his $7.5 million ask, but the $5 million they proposed was a base and the diff was a base and the difference would be made up in the kangaroo court for every throw to first that causes Vladdy to do the splits, jump, or otherwise exert more than normal effort. <clears throat> They're making their money up in no time. And finally, <laughs> why do we do this? Anyway, <laughs> finally, Blue Jays announced around a dozen names that received invitations to spring training, including top prospect Ricky Tiedemann. And Jace from the couch caught up with the young pitcher to get uh, his reaction. Tiedemann said, I'm beyond excited to get an invite to big league spring training. I'm going to have my family watching. It'll be exciting. I just wish the flex pack they sold me was a little more flexible and included more games. Maybe when I make my debut, they'll give me a bigger discount. <clears throat> All in the name of saving money. Well done, Rogers. And the Blue Jays. I'm just joking. And that is fake <laughs> Blue Jays news. I will I will contend. I'm sorry, Karen, you go ahead first. I, I, I just have a late ad to the fake news. I, I, I just got a breaking news as to why Will Smith is still unsigned. Because every time a, a negotiation doesn't go well, he slaps the GM. <laughs> All Boom. the more reason. I'll pay part of If he slaps Ross Atkins, I'll pay part of his salary. <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> Just as long as he doesn't use his left arm. That's all I get to say. Exactly. Exactly. Can't exactly. risk that. Can't risk that. All right. That brings us to the end of episode 319 of the Jays from the Couch Radio podcast. Oh.